Welcome back to IGN Live at Gamescom 2015, presented by Homefront The Revolution. I'm Max Scoville, and joining me is Sean from Kojima Productions to talk about a little game called Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain. Little game. You might have heard of it. Yeah, I, th I think some people want to play this game, <laughs> which is it's coming out really soon, right? Very soon. September 1st That's on all platforms. Less than a month away. That's yep. very close. We get to play it soon. Uh, what are you showing off today? Take uh, it so away. All right. Just let me, I want to see this game. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So what we're going to show you today is the game demo that we have on the show floor here at Gamescom. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, it might be familiar to some people. Uh, okay. We showed off at E3 a mission called A Hero's Way. So what we have today is that same mission. But we're going to show it played in a different way. Uh, back at E3, we showed a, ex a more advanced version of that mission uh, because you know, it took place uh, showcasing the revenge mode in the game, which is where enemies okay. will equip themselves with more advanced equipment. Oh my. But this is more uh, similar to what the player will experience when they first play the game. Uh, so here's our start point for the demo. And uh, in the demo, we only have one start point. But of course, in the actual game, you can start anywhere you like. You can drop into a drop point. You can also start the mission organically in free roam. Here's our target. So our mission is to eliminate the Spetsnaz commander. So we need to get that guy. We have a buddy with us, in this case, D-Horse. All right. So that'll help us get to the mission area quickly. And you can see the mission area marked by the yellow square on the screen. So we'll just head in that direction. All right. This is beautiful. I yeah. <laughs> uh, capturing animals, eh? That sounds capturing like fun. Capturing animals, yeah. So this is one cool thing you can do. We actually showed this off like way back when, when we pulled in some sheep. Uh, you can also fold in other animals. So there are a, var a variety of animals in the game. You can fold in them all. You get rewards for folding more. There are bears in the game, own. yes? There are bears in the game. And can you fold in them? You can fold in them. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. <laughs> I will be playing this game. Thank you very much. Fulton the bear. All right. So we have a patrol here. And uh, as you approach enemy compounds, there will be patrols on the road. So you need to be careful. And what we're doing right now is we're lowering our profile on the side of D-Horse. And this keeps <laughs> us from being spotted <laughs> as we run over sheep. All right. So we'll try to sneak up behind these guys. All right. So now that guy's down. The other guy's distracted. So we'll sneak up from behind and try to interrogate him. All right, so you can interrogate guys for useful intel. In this case, he's telling us where we can find a vehicle. Yeah. That said, we already have D-Horse, so we're going to say screw you. We're going to send you back to another base. So have a nice trip. Back. Yep. And this is, for anybody who played Ground Zeroes, this is going to be very familiar, because it's you kind of gave game us play, that. I mean, that was, that was Gameplay mechanics yeah. are very familiar. Of course, the Fulton is new in Phantom mm -hmm. Pain. Uh, so these guys will back to Mother Base, and they'll become a part of your army. Do note that they're all speaking Russian. Right now, we see subtitles on the screen, because we Fultoned an, Fulton an interpreter. Oh, in wow. If you don't have an interpreter, all you'll hear is Russian. You'll have no idea what they're saying. Very cool. And there's eavesdropping, right? I mean, you can, yeah, absolutely. You can actually so learn sneak, stuff from Sneak around, yeah. Sneak around, overhear conversations. Okay. Uh, if you happen to understand Russian, the Russian you in the game is advantage. authentic, so you can there understand you it. If you don't, find the <laughs> interpreter. All right, so here we are at our mission area. So we'll scope out the area. This is what you should do before you sneak into any area again. Should be familiar to people who play Ground Zeroes. Sure. So you'll mark enemies. One thing that's kind of new is that we've upgraded the analyzer here. So you see on the right hand side of the screen, you can see skills and attributes for each enemy as we scan them. Okay. So and we're this is, that's good for strategy as well as if you want to maybe fulton some people. Exactly, can, exactly. Yeah. So you can scope them out, see if they're worth fultoning or not. All right, so I also, also want to show you this loadout. Uh, we have several loadouts in the game. Loadouts are, th are things that players can customize. So it's basically a set of equipment and weapons that you can preset before you start a mission. Okay. Uh, we have three prepared for the demo. Loadout one is the balanced option. Loadout two is for combat. And loadout three is the non-lethal stealthy option. Oh, wow. Yeah. Now, they've got, they've got prices next to them. Right, so they're not free. Uh, there's the in-game currency, GMP. So everything you do costs some in-game currency. Uh, this is not real money, of course. This is money that you get from the game. Uh, and that, of course, uh, plays into the balance. So you have to balance mm -hmm. GMP with the weaponry, similar to Peace Walker. Okay. Right, so here we are. We have uh, weapons. We also have arms that you can choose from. We have several. You start off with a bionic arm. You Get out of here. Stun arms, rocket <laughs> arms. The rocket arms kind of like the Nikita missile in past Metal Gear, so you oh can man. Okay. guide that around. We also have various uniforms. We've got camouflage, battle dress, which lowers or actually increases your defense, and the sneaking suit, which lowers the amount of sound that you make as you move. Huh. So we'll go and ahead and choose. That's like Snake's exactly. Metal Gear Solid it's costume. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And it looks pretty similar. So we'll go ahead and choose that one, actually. So All we'll right. drop that in. And we'll also swap out our buddy. So we'll get D Dog in here and send D Horse back to Mother Base. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm on board. This is just, <laughs> this is just like. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yep. Just a and horse and a balloon and a box yep, and, yep. Uh, and a cardboard box. 
You can sled in the... Yeah, yep. okay. There we go, there we go. Okay. So fans may have seen this. We showed this off previously as well, but aside from hiding in the box, you can now slide down slopes. My uh, biggest concern with Ground Zeroes was mm -hmm. that it wouldn't be silly or wasn't silly enough, and this clearly you guys have spared no amount of silliness. Absolutely. So one thing we also added in the demo is Stealth Camo. Oh, nice. And this should be familiar with veterans from the series as well. That said, it's a prototype Stealth Camo, so if you look in the bottom left, you see there's a gauge. So there's a limited amount of time that you can use this, and once the gauge drops down to zero, it'll become visible again, so we'll just run to our destination here. And unlike the original kind of iteration, you don't have to beat the game entirely to get it. It's just something you buy. You or develop unlock it. Or so okay. you have a R and D team, which is why you have the Fulton guys, right? Okay. Okay. So we interrogated this guy. He told us where his boss is, so that helps us out. We have to get his commander, so now we know where to look. And here's our stealth camo. It's been dropped in. Note that we shot this guy right before he opened this box. It was a close call. If he opened that box, he would actually take our stealth camo. Really? Yeah, so the would he, would he use is it? really good. Then, well, he won't use it, but you can use it. Okay. So you lose it. All right, so here we have D-Dog. So first thing we want to do is get a higher vantage point here so we can scope out the area. All right, so it looks... We know our guy is in there somewhere, but it's pretty heavily guarded, so of course... It's probably best to wait till it's darker, right? That'll mm -hmm. give you an advantage. So, as you know by now, we have what's called the Phantom Cigar. Uh huh. This helps <laughs> pass the time, and we can wait till nightfall to sneak in. Right. Now, what is it? What's it's, it's mm -hmm. keep saying? D Dog has found something. D Dog is finding enemies. So okay. He'll locate enemies automatically and mark them. And as they'll you show up around. on your right. Okay. Right. So cool. this is very handy. You don't have to stop and ID enemies as you sneak around. D Dog will do it for you. Complete. And you can also use them to keep enemies busy as well. So like this guy, you can have D-Dog take him down, <laughs> keep him busy. So each buddy has several things that they can do and uh, different modes that you can activate. The, uh, the horse can poop, yeah? The horse can poop. And cars can hit it and slide off the road? Yes, yes. I, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I don't like, I just, it sounds so made up, you know? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it's, it's Metal Gear. Metal yeah. Gear's always been, uh, always had a sense of humor. We don't want to lose that. Oh, yeah. All right, so one new thing that we're showing off here is an airstrike. You can call on an airstrike. Uh, you could use it to actually kill your target if you want to, but of course, what we want to do is extract the target because he's a high-value target mm -hmm. to us. Uh, so what we've done is called the airstrike in and having it bomb just outside of the target area so that the enemies will be distracted by it and we can then sneak into the base. Strike will commence shortly. And there are, there are other different types of support you can call in. You can do different things, right. You can have helicopters come in, cause distractions. You can have uh, strikes like this. You can also have them come in and pick you up. There are various things that you can do. All right, so that was the airstrike. Now the enemy will go to investigate, and we can sneak in. And this mission can be totally completed in daytime, too. It's just yeah, yeah, stealthier it's up at to night. The, up to the player. Um, and I, honestly, I'm curious to see how players will finish each mission, because you have total control. You can do whatever you like. And there's, al there's also weather conditions that exactly, come into play as exactly. well. So it may rain, it may, there may be a sandstorm. So landscape's always changing. And I, I heard somewhere that you can actually uh, do research that allows you to change the weather? Eventually, yes. Yeah, you can actually develop weather manipulation at a certain stage in the game if you invest in your R&D team. This is, a, this is a literal sandbox. You yeah, can <laughs> exactly. Summon sand. You can be as serious and realistic as you want, or you can be as silly and ridiculous as you want. All right, so what we did there is we shut off the power, and we're now using our night vision goggles to sneak in here and find, the, find our target. Oh! <laughs> okay, I heard about that. I hadn't actually heard it. That's Kim Wilde's Kids in America. Yes, it is. That's one of my favorite songs. Well, it's I in the game. I'm so you got pooping horses in Kim Wilde. Pooping like, horses yeah. in Kim Wilde. You can get that tape as well. Once okay. Together tape you can put in your iDroid, and you can listen to that on your Walkman at any time. All right, so here's our target. So we'll knock him out here and see if we can extract them alive. You get more rewards for getting guys alive, and also for a commander like this, of course, his stats are very high, so it's useful mm. to bring him back to another base. And you gotta get him outside before you can fault him, correct? Right, right. Can't fault him indoors, unless there's a hole in the ceiling or something like mm. that. And we triggered reflex mode. We got that guy down. We'll throw a smoke grenade here so the other guys don't see us. 
Are you able to say how many tapes are in the game? How many different songs? Uh, I can't give a number, but there's a good variety and uh, a good sample of hits from the 80s. Right on. So I'm sure you'll recognize a good portion of it. <laughs> I'm, I'm very excited about that. <laughs> All right, so we shot our way out here. Uh, still undetected, so we're looking good. We have our VIP, so we'll go ahead and get him out of here. Now, it's keeping score of the, of the headshots. Mm -hmm. Does that come into play anywhere? Yeah, it does. So at the end of each mission, you get rewards based on your play. So the more headshots you do, the better, it, the better you get scored. Okay, right now what happened is we have an intruder at our, our, uh -oh. our FOB, which is our forward operating base. So we're just going to go ahead and pull from this guy. Okay. And then respond to the threat. And this is the whole kind of meta game. This is similar to Peace Walker, you exactly, know, where you're exactly. running your own running your own mother base, right? And, uh, yeah. and stuff like that. So FOB alerts can be triggered at any time, even during missions. Uh, so right here, you can see we're in the middle of a mission. We got an alert, so we're going to go back to mother base now and uh, respond to that. All right. So just to set things up, though, you know, we wanted to show FOB live here today. Right. But unfortunately, it's, it's just really complicated to get a network going. A lot of moving parts. So exactly. this is, what you're seeing is here is, is pre-recorded, but the rest of that was all live. That, that was, was all happening. Mm -hmm. We ran into a goat to prove it, apparently. <laughs> um, yeah, but, you know, things like that can obviously right, happen right. on the fly. So, um, yeah. Also, you, I love that you can play as basically anybody. You can pretty much be your own character. Yeah, exactly. So you have guys in your combat unit, and you can choose anyone in the combat unit to play as, and they have a lot of the similar options that Snake has. You can choose different uniforms, different weapons, etc. So right now we're swapping out a character and choosing a different character to fight off the invader at Mother Base. So this is uh, your FOB. So uh, this is your base that you designed, you expand it, and FOB is essentially your online version of Mother Base. Mm -hmm. So Mother Base is kind of your safe haven, FOB is your online presence. It's a little bit reminiscent of the big shell. Right, right. So right now we're gonna head, go ahead and try to find the intruder. So we'll start by looking around. Previously, we looked at our map and we could see where the intruder the appears. So we kind of have an idea of where to look. Also, you'll notice that there are these red circles on the map. So if your men happen to notice anything, they will actually report it to you. And you can open up your map and see where the enemy may be. Hmm. So they'll give you a hint of where you should, should be searching. All right, so obviously there's something weird going on there. Looks like the enemy player is opening our men. So let's head down and check it out. And this is this is not just Metal Gear Online. That's a whole separate other no, thing. No, yeah, this, this is just is completely a, different. Yeah. So yeah, it, it's hard to explain just how huge this game really is. Mm -hmm. Aside from the entire campaign mode, you have this FOB system, which ties directly into the campaign mode. So everything you do here in FOB, all those resources that you collect, all the development you do, ties directly into the main campaign, which again and is different from MGO, which is the right. competitive component. And you can you're you're stealing stuff from other exactly. people, exactly. Like and it, and it so affects your okay. Yeah, right. that's. But you do have to be, c be careful because if you steal something from someone, that person may then retaliate against you. So it's part of this whole cycle of revenge, which mm -hmm. is a core theme of the game. I like that. So right now what happened is the, uh, we found the intruder, but he shot one of our guys, so we're going to rescue him. And that's new. That is new. So this is what we call a wormhole Fulton. It's actually a wormhole extraction device. And uh, the advantage of using this is that it can't be shot down like the Fulton balloons. Yeah, and there's, a lot of w there's always a lot of weird supernatural stuff in Metal Gear. We've mm -hmm. kind of seen a lot more of the kind of on-the-ground stuff. But right, yeah. right. Makes sense. And then here's the intruder. And here's the intruder. So what the intruder is doing right now is he's using, using a uh, item called noctocyanin, and this enhances your senses, your you know sense of uh, hearing and sight, so you can detect enemies. It's like marking enemies without marking them. Mm. So he's using that to see what the enemy's up to, and then he's planting some gas mines here. Huh. So I detect a trap. Yeah, the the kind of hide-and-seek with booby traps aspect mm -hmm. here is fabulous. Yeah, so I, and that's, that's basically what makes you know, the FOB system so cool, is that uh, from the intruder's perspective, it's like infiltrating this massive stronghold, like traditional Metal Gear, except that you have another player on the other end mm -hmm. uh, defending their base, so it's, it's really cool. Now, uh, the defender got knocked unconscious there. Mm -hmm. How long is he out? So he'll be out. He'll have to shake the controllers and try to wake himself up. Okay. Uh, so while that's going on, you know, the intruder can make a run for it. So here we, we see the defenders waking up. Um, and will the intruder's location kind of be voided? Right, right. So once he's knocked out, he loses track of the intruder. The intruder's hidden again. So the defender will have to try and locate him. And right now the intruder's being pretty smart about it because he's going in a sub-deck right here so huh. across the bridge, which uh, is hidden from most of the security staff. So it is uh, very traditional stealth gameplay in a way, but taken into a multiplayer context. Just, yeah, balanced accordingly. Right. 
and of course, it, people kind of can customize their own their own bases and kind of absolutely. Embed. Yeah. So everything that you see on the screen here is something that a, a player has created, and one example of that is actually right here. You see there are uh, security security uh -huh. security devices here. So we have infrared lasers as well as a security camera. And these are things that the Defender installed on their base. So you can choose to install security devices like this. You can bring security forces in, um, install UAV drones. You have many options. Well, this makes so much sense because you're, you're both playing as kind of big boss as, as a traditional Metal Gear hero, but mm -hmm. also as big boss as more of a Metal Gear boss. You know, absolutely, he's a, he's a absolutely. villain. Absolutely. I mean, he's, he is big boss. Yeah. And he ends up being the, uh, the villain in the game eventually. So you are essentially creating a stage for invaders to play. You know, it's almost worth pointing out that that's a, that's a solid snake costume. Yep. And he's invading yep. Big Boss's base. <laughs> that is true. That's true. So again, he's using Noctocyan in here so you can see through the walls. So what, what he did here is he actually destroyed a security camera just so that the guards would go to check it out. And he'll sneak around. Hmm. So the defender is seeing this happen. And right now, the defender has no idea where the intruder is because he was knocked out, so he has to find him. Hide and seek. If one of your men see the, the intruder, then they'll mark it on the map. But right now, we have no idea where he is. So the defender here is going to have to try and get to some high ground so he can scope the area okay. out. What's the, uh, what's the countdown counting down to? Countdown is how much time the intruder has to make off with all your goods. Okay. If you wait until that reaches zero, then that means the area around your FOB has been secured, and the intruder then will not be able to make a clean escape. Mm. So okay. the intruder has to make it to the goal point on the map before that timer takes down. And do the goal points kind of change? Uh, it'll, be, it'll vary depending on the platform. And uh, so there are various platforms, and each FOB is different. What was that? That is a cool thing. Let's take a look at that again, actually. So if you're familiar with Zone of the Enders, <laughs> uh, you may have heard of, uh, you, may, you may have heard this call before. Or maybe not. Actually, I don't There's know if that was the nice English nice version. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so uh, that's an homage to Zone of the Enders. You have the Hand of Jehudi, and that actually teleports enemies right next to you, so you can use CQC on them right away. And again, that's an example of something that you can unlock eventually by investing in R&D. I'm guessing that's sort of an end game, very expensive. Yeah, yeah, so a lot of the things that we're showing off right here are very advanced equipment. You don't get this stuff in the beginning. Uh, you have to invest a lot in R&D, and you have to gather material components as well. So what you're seeing here is very advanced gameplay. Now, one question I had, the uh, color of the bases. Mm -hmm. You see mostly kind of orange, mm -hmm. which is, you know, so looks like yeah, Big Shell. The orange, you know, um, obviously, an homage to Big Shell is the default color, but you can change that as well. You can make your own base any color you want. You can also change the emblems and customize emblems. And there's a well. box full of and smoke. There's, there's a box full of smoke, another example of booby traps. This guy's really sneaky. He is. Yeah, Jackie's a sneaky guy. But uh, yeah, he's got him there. So he's knocked the guy out, and uh, he's going to throw him over the edge here, I think. So that guy's out of the play field. Uh, but the thing is, if the defender dies, you can always respawn uh, as another character. So and your guards will right, and your guards will too. keep on fighting. So it's it's good to point out as well that you don't have to necessarily be online uh, to repel invaders. Your guards will fight as best as they can. You know, that does not necessarily mean they'll succeed. Hmm. So it's always best to be around to, to defend if you like. Uh, but you can invest in security to uh, right. fight off invaders. All right, so we chose another character, chose some equipment. Now we choose a spawn point. So you respawn, and you have another chance to try and get this intruder. And this time you've got a defense, so this, defense yeah, mode out. Yeah. yeah, so this time we got some heavier uh, defenses. And we now spotted the intruder, obviously, because uh, you know our guys are shooting at him. So we know where to look. So we'll take a shortcut here. Yeah, this, I love that this, the stealth is pretty much out right now. This is yeah, a so firefight. This is what happens. This is an example of what happens when your mission fails, essentially. Right. <laughs> you know, as, as the intruder, it's ideal to maintain stealth. Right now, he's been caught. So this is actually very difficult right now because... You know, you got th this guy's entire army against you. And, and was that a decoy? That was a decoy. Uh, this, again, is an example of an upgraded decoy. So you have decoys. We also have these uh, electric decoys that you can develop eventually and lay as traps. And we've now Fulton the invader, and he's gone. So we win. We win, yeah. So Defender wins. And that's wow. an example of the FOB system. And you get a bunch of... GMP for that if you pull it off? You or get, if you yeah, well, if you pull it off, you get resources. You can also get a bunch of guys. So, you know, obviously, uh, part of building your FOB, uh, mother base and FOB is getting skilled personnel. So, 
uh, if you make it to the goal point, you make off with a bunch of uh, personnel from the enemy, and uh, that's very useful to have. And this is just this is just part of it. There's still Metal Gear Online this is just part on of the it. way. It's yeah, this so is a big game. We, it's a huge game. Yeah. You know, I think we've uh, stated before that just the the main map alone is over 200 times bigger than Ground Zeroes. Oh man! And then on top of that, we have the entire um, you know well, FOB system, mother yep. base system. So there's I, a lot. To I believe you to. now. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for taking the time no, to answer my dumb questions about bears and horses and boxes and. Things like that. Um, game looks really cool, and it's awesome. coming out really soon. So, you know, stay tuned to that, and stay tuned for more Gamescom coverage right here on IGN.